Hey everybody, Hambo back at the back table talking about a use for BDU pouches. You all know these, I've seen videos from a few of you in the past couple of days, Mr. Nizer, us, Valerie, a few others, uh, using these and other pouches to carry your daily gear. Excellent, that's what they're made for. You've got the regular size BDU, uh, 6 inches by about 4 inches. Uh, they do have molly straps on the back, so you can attach them if you wish. I do this with a number of my bags. But, especially now in the summertime, and you may be wearing shorts, t-shirts, maybe only walking around with what's in your pockets, uh, the smaller sized BDU shirt pocket packs are very desirable. Now these are made by Maxpedition, they're also made by uh, Tactical Tailor, they're also made by uh, Voodoo Tactical, which is the ones I have here today. I buy Voodoo because they're at the local supply store here in Richmond and these are I think five bucks, <laughs> you know, so you can't knock it. comes with the uh, Velcro patch on the front and they all have uh, flags to match the colors. This one's in tan and black. The Desert Camo, of course, comes in the light green and black and uh, it works out very well. But anyway, uh, they're all basically the same. No matter what size you get, they all have some common construction features. The one thing I like about the Voodoo Tactical is the inner lining, and this might be the same in the Maxpedition too, the inner lining is vinyl. Okay, that's actually vinyl. So the layer right next to the outer surface is water resistant. Now it's not waterproof by any means and it's nowhere near humidity controlled like a sealed case with a gasket. But what that means is if you have this in your pouch, in your pants, whatever, and you've got something in here that shouldn't really get wet, uh, you get caught in a rainstorm, something like that, uh, chances are the stuff inside is going to survive at least as long as it's not submerged or it's not immersed in a heavy downpour for too long. But anyway, uh, we're going to work with one of these today because I want to talk about using these for something that you should have with you, especially if you're outside during the summertime, and that is a small, easily carried, basic first aid kit. Now, this is approximately, I'd say, four inches by three inches uh, and again it's got the front velcro and carry pouch that you could put other things in if you wish uh, of course you won't get any of the uh, water resistance or water guard from that but <clears throat> on the inside now most of these come with all of them come with two lanyards that are attached on the inner edges. Now I cut them out because they're basically useless for me. One is a flat ribbon type uh, keychain or pen holder. It's a, about a six inch piece of lanyard with a plastic clip on the end and the other side has the same length of line but what looks like paracord. Uh, it's round and it has the clip on it as well but don't really need them for this application so I cut them out. Now what to put in here? Here's something I found. I'm going to move this aside. Go to your box store, Walmart, Kmart, Target, whatever, and go to the section where they have travel supplies, the little bottles of shampoo, the little deodorants, little travel toothbrushes, little toothpaste tubes. Uh, they've got them in little bins. They're usually near the cosmetics or at least near the pharmacy section. Uh, these are basically I call them as samples but they're good for one or two days and nothing there is is more than than a dollar fifty or, or, or two dollars at the most and one of the things you'll find there and I've checked different stores they'll have them is these it's made by Johnson & Johnson it's called first aid to go and what this is is essential first aid items in a hard shell plastic box now right off the bat if you can use something like this in the plastic box fine don't worry about the BDU pouch at all just go ahead and use this what it's got in here is a couple of different size band-aids some alcohol wipes some antiseptic wipes 
uh, and there's enough room in there to add other things if you wish and it makes a nice little compact pocket size first aid kit. Now, the only problem with this is it is noisy if you've got other things in your pockets it does tend to tap against there and it is a little bit bulky if you're sitting in a car or whatever and you've got this stuffed into the thigh pocket in your cargo shorts uh, it's going to bulge out a little bit. Now the other one will too but it will conform to the shape of your leg and it won't be as noticeable but anyway if you open this up first of all this retails for under two dollars the complete kit under two dollars in the travel supply section get rid of this and when you open it up you will find just a few basic essentials a um, couple of towelettes of a cleansing wipe it's not quite betadine but it is kind of like wet wipes okay uh, not really alcohol based alcohol wipes are always good to add in here you can get those a box of 500 of them for less than five bucks and you can put them in all your little first aid kits uh, a couple of different sizes of band-aids standard size some smaller sizes and at least one and sometimes they'll ah, yeah today they threw in two at least two of the two by two gauzes now some of the things you might want to consider is a little small roll of tape if you don't have it in your EDC pouch or something just uh, or you can use the band-aids to hold the gauze down for some reason you had to apply this to a slightly larger wound but anyway that's it like I said there's not much in there and really not much in the box now if you decide not to use these in the box the box is a nice little storage device that you can use for something else like I said hard styrene plastic not bad we're actually going to take these out and put them in the BDU pouch so I found that if you get two of these and open them up and take the contents out you have a good little variety of band-aids and some moist applications that can be used for any type of routine cut or scrape you might encounter and again those can go off to the side to be used for something else now let's take our BDU pouch now all BDU pouches are basically the same I put these off to the side we've got some long vertical holders here we've got a large internal flap on this side and we've got some little holders now what you add to yours is completely up to you but here's what I do you see these band-aids come out in various sizes and they all have the same kind you have the smaller size you have a couple of the larger size and you have the two inch gauze pads so we'll put the wipes aside we'll take the band-aids that match sizes and again if you have other band-aids at home you can add them in too I kind of like to add in some of the flexible ones they're more cloth based and some of them are cut for knuckles I'm always dinging my knuckles so I always have a couple of those but anyway there's two separations right there now what we can do is take these band-aids and put them into the vertical slots on the BDU pouch okay so there's two good holders for your BDU pouch now I've seen some people put things like a tongue depressor uh, a plastic bite stick it depends on how complicated you want to make this this is just very very basic cut a finger scrape a knuckle you've got something here now the four two inch pads can go in the other side flap they fit down there real nice now here's what we've got we've got four of the basically skin cleaning towelettes they're almost like alcohol wipes now again you could add alcohol wipes do something else I add a couple of other things another thing you'll find in the travel section of that box store where you got the little first aid kits a lot of the companies like wet ones wet wipes even now the bigger names like Clorox and Lysol will have little travel packs of their wet wipes 
these always come in handy so I take a couple of these there's three there I've got four of these wipes and then since I wear sunglasses almost all the time a couple of lens cloths that I got from that same store but in the pharmacy section now these are a little bit pricier but they are very good at cleaning the lenses on your glasses or your sunglasses so these are the same size uh, we can put them right in front of the gauze pads okay and they go in like so now the gauze pad is interfering with this so you want to pull those out a little bit and then take these and lay them in there like so so it's on top of the gauze pads and then push them all together into the pouch area okay like so then you want to take the uh, wet ones since you're going to use these a little more often you can just lay them in there like that and again you could add whatever else you like in here just remember the more you add the bulkier it is and this is not a first responder first aid kit this is just for little dings and cuts and scrapes that you may encounter along your day trip or even in the car if you have kids shopping close that up there's your little first aid pouch now that small size fits good in a shirt pocket in a back pocket or especially the side pocket of any cargo style pants or shorts you might be wearing even in your EDC bag your purse ladies uh, fanny packs whatever you've got and again you can modify it any way you want to add more or maybe less change it around as to what you want some people will put in small scissors I mean you can make these as complicated as you want those are usually reserved for the larger size BDU organizers but these little ones again this one by Voodoo Tactical they are made by other manufacturers um, they're absolutely fantastic and it's a great way to have a little moldable non-obtrusive first aid kit for your daily travels summertime and all year round that's it have a good time we'll talk to you soon